Welcome to Inspire and Success Today. We're counting down our picks for the top 20 greatest boxing movies of all time. What's the matter with you? Tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. For this list, we're focusing exclusively on feature films whose plots are centered around boxing. But before that, Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more amazing content. Let's start the video now without further delay. Number 20, Play It to the Bone, is a 1999 sports comedy drama film directed and written by Ron Shelton. You know something? Velario was a fag. Right. No. Oh, yeah. Men, women, whatever, man. The film stars Woody Harrelson and Antonio Banderas as two best friends and rival boxers, Vince Boudreau and Cesar Dominguez, respectively. The story follows Vince and Cesar, who are both struggling boxers past their prime, as they are given a shot at redemption with the opportunity to fight each other in Las Vegas. Along the way, they embark on a road trip to the fight venue, accompanied by Grace Pasek, played by Lolita Davidovich. Vince's girlfriend. Number 19, Grudge Match, is a 2013 sports comedy film directed by Peter Siegel. Donna, let's be one. No, no, you're being a guy with one eye. That's all you're doing. What do you mean? Your eyes almost swollen shut. Okay. Didn't work anyway. At least you don't have to cut me. You're listening. The film stars Robert De Niro and Sylvester Stallone as two aging boxers, Billy the Kid McDonough and Henry Razor Sharp, respectively, who had a fierce rivalry in their prime. The story revolves around a rematch between Billy and Henry, which is organized by their former promoter, Dante Slate Jr., played by Kevin Hart. The two fighters, who have been estranged for years, agree to come out of retirement for one final bout to settle their long-standing grudge. Number 18, Chuck, is a 2016 biographical sports drama film directed by Philippe Filardo. The film stars Liev Schreiber in the title role as Chuck Wepner, a heavyweight boxer who is the inspiration behind the iconic Rocky film series. So finally, boom. Now it looks like Webner may possibly have a cut above the eye. I think I see some red stuff that might... The film also features Naomi Watts, Elizabeth Moss, Ron Perlman, and Jim Gaffigan in supporting roles. The story follows Chuck Webner, a liquor salesman from New Jersey, who gets the opportunity of a lifetime when he is chosen to fight the heavyweight boxing champion Muhammad Ali in a highly publicized match. Despite being considered a huge underdog, Wepner shocks the world by lasting 15 rounds against Ali. Number 17, Gladiator, is a 1992 sports drama film directed by Rowdy Harrington. The film stars Cuba Gooding Jr. as Tommy Riley, a young man who becomes involved in an underground fight circuit to pay off his father's gambling debts and save their home. Set in Chicago, Brady just walked in. Leo, give me a crunch. I might lose my investment. The story follows Tommy as he reluctantly enters the brutal world of illegal underground fighting. With the help of his mentor, Pappy Jack, played by Brian Dennehy, Tommy navigates the dangerous world of bare-knuckle brawls and faces off against formidable opponents. Number 16, Bleed for This, is a 2016 biographical sports film directed by Ben Younger. The film tells the true story of professional boxer Vinny Pazienza, also known as Vinny Paz. Do you understand the difference between a risk and a gamble. Yeah, risk, gambles, whatever. No, not whatever. Who made a remarkable comeback to the boxing ring after a near-fatal car accident. Vinny Pazienza, portrayed by Miles Teller, was a successful boxer who won world titles in multiple weight classes. However, his career was threatened when he suffered a severe neck injury in a car accident. Against the advice of doctors who told him he might never walk again, let alone box, Vinny defied the odds and embarked on an intensive rehabilitation program to return to the ring. Number 15, Southpaw, is a 2015 sports drama film directed by Antoine Fuqua. The film stars Jake Gyllenhaal as Billy the Great Hope. Hey, Billy, why are you leaving so soon? Come on, baby. Let's go. Hey, man, I hope you're not taking everything personal, man. I'm just trying to sell the fight. What the fuck? Are you? A professional boxer who experiences a series of personal and professional setbacks and must fight his way back to redemption. The story follows Billy Hope, a successful boxer who has risen from a troubled childhood to become the reigning light heavyweight champion. However, tragedy strikes when his wife Maureen, played by Rachel McAdams, is killed in a shooting incident. Devastated by his loss, Billy spirals out of control, losing custody of his daughter Layla, portrayed by Una Lawrence, and his boxing career. Number 14, Jungle Land, is a 2019 drama film directed by Max Winkler. The story follows two brothers who are struggling to make ends meet. They embark on a journey from Massachusetts to California. Lion! Open your eyes! Lion! Two. Stay down! 
Just stay down, all right? Three. To participate in a high-stakes underground boxing match called Jungle Land. Along the way, they are accompanied by a young woman named Sky, Jessica Barden, who has her own reasons for joining them. Number 13, Real Steel, is a 2011 science fiction sports drama film directed by Sean Levy and starring Hugh Jackman. Set in the near future where robot boxing has become a popular sport, is holding nothing back as he cracks open the the film follows the story of a former boxer named Charlie Kenton, played by Hugh Jackman, who becomes a robot boxing promoter after human boxing becomes obsolete. Charlie, struggling to make ends meet and pay off his debts, discovers a discarded robot named Adam in a junkyard. Despite Adam being an outdated sparring robot, Charlie's son Max convinces him to train Adam and enter him into robot boxing matches. As Adam begins winning matches and gaining popularity, Charlie and Max bond over their shared passion for robot boxing and embark on a journey to the championship. Number 12, Creed 2, is a 2018 sports drama film directed by Stephen Cappell Jr. and a sequel to the 2015 film Creed. They're still swinging, Max. Creed continuing to connect and this is becoming hard. The film stars Michael B. Jordan reprising his role as Adonis Creed, the son of Apollo Creed, alongside Sylvester Stallone as Rocky Balboa. In Creed 2, Adonis Creed faces the toughest challenge of his career when he squares off against Victor Drago, the son of Ivan Drago, the boxer who killed Adonis's father, Apollo Creed, in the ring decades earlier. The fight becomes deeply personal for Adonis as he seeks redemption, honor, and the opportunity to avenge his father's death. Meanwhile, Rocky Balboa grapples with his own past and the emotional weight of training Adonis for the high-stakes bout against the Drago family. Number 11, Tyson, is a documentary directed by James Toback. It provides an intimate look into the life and career of the former heavyweight boxing champion, Mike Tyson. Come on, motherfucker. Come on, do your job, man. Hit me. Oh, I'm touched. Come on, motherfucker, you can't hit me. The film is primarily composed of interviews with Tyson, allowing him to reflect on his tumultuous life, his rise to fame, his experiences in the boxing world, and his personal struggles both inside and outside the ring. Tyson delves into Tyson's troubled childhood, his relationship with his mentor and trainer Kus D'Amato, his meteoric rise to becoming the youngest heavyweight champion in history, and the controversies and challenges he faced throughout his career. The documentary also explores Tyson's personal life, including his marriages, legal troubles, and public image. The film offers viewers a candid and unfiltered portrayal of Tyson, capturing his raw emotions and providing insight into the complexities of his personality. It sheds light on the highs and lows of his life, allowing audiences to gain a deeper understanding of one of boxing's most polarizing figures. Number 10, The Boxer, is a 1997 drama film directed by Jim Sheridan. No, it doesn't matter now. Oh, no, no, no. It's not far. Just finish it up, okay. The film stars Daniel Day-Lewis as Danny Flynn, an Irish boxer who returns to his native Belfast after serving a 14-year prison sentence for his involvement with the IRA. Upon his release, Danny discovers that his former girlfriend, Maggie, is now married to his former boxing coach, Joe Hamill. Despite the complications of their past, Danny and Maggie reignite their relationship, much to the disapproval of Joe and the local community. Number 9, The Hurricane, is a 1999 biographical sports drama film directed by Norman Jewison. Oh, my dad, you know he's happy. He's glad for me. He's seeing much of people. The film stars Denzel Washington as Reuben Hurricane Carter, a professional boxer who was wrongfully convicted of murder in the 1960s and spent nearly 20 years in prison before his conviction was overturned. The story follows Reuben Hurricane Carter's life, from his rise as a promising middleweight boxer to his wrongful imprisonment for a triple homicide he did not commit. While in prison, Carter maintains his innocence and becomes a symbol of hope and perseverance, inspiring people from all walks of life to rally behind him and advocate for his release. Number 8, Snatch, is a 2000 British crime comedy film written and directed by Guy Ritchie. Now, I know he looks like a fat fucker. Well, he's a fat fucker, but he's dirty. The film features multiple interconnected storylines involving various characters from London's criminal underworld. It's known for its fast-paced narrative, witty dialogue, and eccentric characters. The central plot revolves around a stolen diamond and follows a group of characters, including small-time crooks, gangsters, and amateur boxing promoters, as they become entangled in a series of events surrounding the valuable gem. Number 7, Cinderella Man, is a 2005 biographical sports drama film directed by Ron Howard. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your decision. It's unanimous. Winner!
The film tells the true story of James J. Braddock, a boxer who rose from poverty to become a world heavyweight champion during the Great Depression. Russell Crowe stars as James J. Braddock, a once promising boxer who was forced to retire from the sport due to injuries and the economic hardships of the Depression. With his family struggling to make ends meet, Braddock reluctantly returns to boxing, determined to provide for his wife, May, and their children. Number 6 Creed is a 2015 sports drama film directed by Ryan Coogler and written by Coogler and Aaron Covington. Okay. All right. It's okay. Good. Deep breath. Bring it along. Deep breath. Deep breath. Look at me. The film serves as both a spin-off and a sequel in the Rocky film series, focusing on the character of Adonis Creed, the son of Apollo Creed, Rocky Balboa's rival turned friend. Michael B. Jordan stars as Adonis Donnie Creed, who aspires to follow in his father's footsteps and become a professional boxer. Despite never knowing his father, Donnie seeks out Rocky Balboa, portrayed once again by Sylvester Stallone, to train him and help him achieve his dream. Number 5, The Fighter, is a 2010 biographical sports drama film directed by David O. Russell. Yeah, I got you fighting Alfonso Sanchez. On HBO. And you're proud of that. Fucking right. HBO's invested in a Mexican, Mike, wake up. I didn't think they were going to be invested in me. The film tells the true story of boxer Mickey Ward and his older half-brother Dickie Eklund, who also trained him. Set in Lowell, Massachusetts, the film explores the tumultuous relationship between the two brothers as Mickey struggles to establish himself as a successful boxer and break free from his family's influence. Mark Wahlberg stars as Mickey Ward, while Christian Bale portrays his brother Dickie Eklund. The film follows Mickey's journey as he faces numerous challenges, including family conflicts, personal struggles, and setbacks in his boxing career. Number 4, Ali, is a 2001 biographical sports drama film directed by Michael Mann and starring Will Smith as the legendary boxer Muhammad Ali. I want you all to tell all my aunts and all my uncles and cousins and friends. The film explores key events and periods in Ali's life, focusing on his boxing career, personal life, and his role as a cultural and political figure. The film covers significant moments in Ali's life, including his rise to fame as Cassius Clay, his conversion to Islam and name change to Muhammad Ali, his refusal to serve in the Vietnam War, his comeback after being stripped of his boxing titles, and his legendary bouts with opponents such as Sonny Liston, Joe Frazier, and George Foreman. Will Smith's performance as Muhammad Ali received widespread acclaim earning him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. The film also received praise for its realistic portrayal of Ali's life and the turbulent times in which he lived. Ali captures the essence of Muhammad Ali's larger-than-life persona, his charisma, his athletic prowess, and his enduring legacy as one of the greatest athletes and cultural icons of the 20th century. Number 3, Million Dollar Baby, is a 2004 sports drama film directed and produced by Clint Eastwood, who also stars in the film alongside Hilary Swank and Morgan Freeman. The film is based on a short story by FX Tool, Stories from the Corner. The story follows Maggie Fitzgerald, a determined young woman from a poor background who aspires to become a professional boxer. She convinces Frankie Dunn, a grizzled and reluctant boxing trainer, to become her coach. Alongside them is Scrap, a former boxer and employee of Frankie's gym who serves as a narrator and confidant. Number 2, Raging Bull, is a 1980 biographical sports drama film directed by Martin Scorsese based on the memoir Raging Bull My Story by Jake LaMotta with Joseph Carter and Peter Savage. Robinson hurting LaMotta. He's hurting him now. The film stars Robert De Niro as Jake LaMotta, an Italian-American middleweight boxer whose life and career are explored over a period of several years. The film is renowned for its powerful portrayal of LaMotta's tumultuous life, both inside and outside the boxing ring. It delves into LaMotta's complex personality, including his volatile temper, self-destructive tendencies, and abusive behavior towards his family and loved ones. Number 1 Rocky is a 1976 American sports drama film directed by John G. Avildsen and written by and starring Sylvester Stallone. This is so Forget technique. Forget strategy. This is just 
a street fight. That's a question of... The film tells the story of Rocky Balboa, an uneducated but kind-hearted small-time boxer from Philadelphia who gets a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. The character of Rocky Balboa is portrayed as an underdog, struggling to make ends meet while working as a debt collector for a loan shark. Despite his humble beginnings, Rocky possesses a strong determination and dreams of making something of himself in the boxing world. Rocky's life takes a dramatic turn when he is offered the opportunity to fight Apollo Creed, the heavyweight champion of the world, in a highly publicized bout. With the support of his trainer Mickey Goldmill and his love interest Adrian, Rocky trains tirelessly for the biggest fight of his life. Rocky is celebrated for its rousing and inspirational story, memorable characters, and iconic training montages set to the famous Gonna Fly Now theme song. The film's climactic boxing match between Rocky and Apollo Creed has become one of the most iconic moments in cinematic history.